This is called what street? Frenchman Street. Frenchman Street. That's correct. Louisiana and New Orleans all the way up until 1763. They turned it over to Spain. They were tired of losing money on having this gigantic colony over here. So Spain takes over and they control it up until 1800. But in 1788 and again in 1794, the city burned nearly to the ground twice. The Spanish, of course, the second time decided, all right, we're not going to build anything out of wood anymore. You know, something's going to go up with the spark of a match. But they decided to start using brick, more brick, mortar, more sturdy materials build the building so that's why actually as we ride along in the French Quarter you'll see the galleries and balconies and a lot of the architecture is actually Spanish in design and construction so that's why the term French Quarter is kind of a misnomer architecturally speaking of course most of the people that were here even other than Spanish most everybody was still French in culture and language everything because the Spanish couldn't hardly convince anybody to come over here except for highly paid administrators and soldiers who are here temporarily against their will just because you know it's so hot humid yeah lots of, you know, disease, alligators, difficult to grow things, all those factors combined. And of course, the French had a heck of a time getting anybody to come over here. At first, they basically cleared out the rabble of Paris, you know, criminals and vagabonds, and sent them over here forcibly to populate the colony. Once we are sure that this car is going to stop at the stop sign, we can go ahead and cross. Here we go, guys. Go ahead, Crystal. I'm filming you. It should be enjoyable, but on the weekends it's a sardine can. I don't really enjoy it, like going on the weekends, but on a weeknight, fantastic place to visit. 